Welcome back to The Vault. I'm your host, Bro Gilbert, and this time we're looking at a famous Canadian magician, a fellow Canadian, uh, Mr. Gary Kurtz. Gary Kurtz came onto the scene with his book, Unexplainable Acts, a bright orange covered book, uh, incredible routines in it, and he followed that up with his A1 multimedia video, Let's Get Flurious, and he inspired a generation of people to walk around with jumbo coins and do uh, incredible tenkai palms and vanishes. Anyway, Gary Kurtz is a, a brilliant mentalist. He's a film director. He's under the radar. He's not really in the magic scene anymore, but his contributions uh, from that era, from that time period, have really changed the face of close-up magic. A true legend. This is Let's Get Flurious by Gary Kurtz. One coin, a bit of visual stimulation. One coin. Actually, this may be a little hard for some of the people in the back to see, so uh, I will make it bigger. Ooh. Reacts in an almost masculine fashion. Of course, I could make it uh, smaller again. <laughs> I don't know about you, I like the bigger one better. <laughs> so is my wife. With this very large coin, a bit of visual stimulation. I wish it could be physical, but heck, so many of you, only one of me. <laughs> so much love to give, so little time. Only one life to live, only one love to give. Visual stimulation. Hope you like it. Oh, please. Oh, yeah. Do this all day. <laughs> I think I will. <laughs> Poetry in motion! Thank you, thank you. But wait, the poem's not over yet. It's back. <laughs> it ain't Chucky, but it's back. Do me a favor, feel it, make sure it's there. It is there. Tell me you want it. <laughs> because when you want it, it gets even bigger. Ooh. Another envelope, the suspense builds. And inside this envelope, yet another envelope. And inside this envelope, with any luck, three cards, put them there myself, I don't know why I'm saying any luck. Three <laughs> cards, which will hopefully tell me something a little bit about your card. The first card as the six of clubs is a club. One in four chance that you chose a club. Did you choose a club? Yes, I did. Good. The bottom card, the four of hearts, a four. One in 13 chance that you chose a four. Did you choose a four? Uh, yes. Are so good. This one told me it was a club, this one told me it was a four. You know what the middle card tells me? <laughs> How you sign your name. Mm. Hold the very tip of the pen here, pencil here, and you hold the very tail of the pencil there. Uh, we're going to separate the rings and call upon the powers of love. By the way, which one of you would be the dominant person in the couple. She was. Uh, <laughs> that's what I thought. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't tilt the pencil, don't move the pencil. Watch the power. 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 The hard part now, just the three coins, two cup coins, one silver. Uh, if I were to take the uh, silver coin here, what would that leave in this hand? Gotcha. Right, you've heard of foreign exchange, haven't you? <laughs> I've seen it. <laughs> Ooh, one more time, two copper coins, one silver. You remember the last time I took the uh, silver coin out? I went like this, had the silver coin here, the copper. remember that? <laughs> so one more time, you'll understand for sure. <laughs> two coppers and silver. Actually, the last two times I took the silver out, this time I'll leave it there. If you hold out your hand. I will hand you the penny and the 20 cent table, leaving me with a half dollar. <laughs> Don't drop them like the last guy did. I'll take this one, drop it here, the other one, drop it there. The penny and the 20 cent table. Thank you. Place your finger on top of the marked card on the X. On the count of three, I want you to name the card you were thinking of. One, two, three. Nine of hearts. Take a look. Ooh. Nine of hearts. Yes. Not only that, but the card in the box is also the Nine of Hearts. How sure are we going to think of it? Mm. 
The implications are astounding. 